Professional stunt men and women risk life and limb to bring audiences into the stomach churning action. They are the unsung heroes and heroines of the silver screen until now. Joining us is John Spira, director of Crackle TV's popcorn flicks documentary, Hollywood Bulldogs, The Rise and Falls of the Great British Stuntmen. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so you join us from across the pond in England. And is England known for producing a disproportionate amount of stunt men and women? Uh, I think I think for the size of the country and the size of the industry, we've definitely had uh, a very big hold on the industry for quite a long time. So, what do you think that is? Uh, I think it's really because of the guys in the film that I've made. It was a very strange generation. I mean, as you know, in the 1960s, a lot was happening in, in London, and that affected kind of all culture in different ways. And really, the stunt, the stunt industry here kind of evolved from that point. Really, I think in America, you had always had a stunt industry right back to silent sure. cinema because sure. you guys had a culture of, of rodeo. That's so true. when they started making kind of silent films, there were loads of cowboys and guys who could do all of the kind of westerns and the horse riding and stuff. But in this country, we didn't. In this country, uh, if someone was going to take a fall down a flight of stairs, they would literally on set say, we'll give five pounds to anyone who wants to fall down a flight of stairs. <laughs> and they would do it. And that, that's how our industry kind of started. So it, tell us some of the people who you follow in this documentary and why you chose these particular people. Well, I mean, the, the, the big legend that we've got is Vic Armstrong, uh, who's legendary in Hollywood because he doubled Harrison Ford for all of the Indiana Jones films. Uh, he was, I mean, all of our guys played James Bond at some point or another. Um, but we've got Vic, we've got a guy called Frank Henson, who sadly died while we were making the film. Yeah. He doubled for John Wayne at certain times. Um, Greg Powell, who is still a huge stunt coordinator, he he now he coordinated all of the Harry Potter films. He coordinated Lord of the Rings. Um, Richard Hammett, Paul Weston, who did the Alien films with Sigourney Weaver. Uh, we've even got a guy called Ray Austin, who's in his nineties, who was really the first kind of professional British stuntman who started on the Avengers, the TV series, The Avengers. And there's really no official recognition for these people, which is really surprising to me in this day and age. You know, they've got the, the technical uh, Oscars, the technical Emmys. I mean, there, there are awards out there for the people who are behind the scenes, but these are the people who are in front of the camera doing some pretty spectacular stuff. There's no Oscar and there's no BAFTA for, for best hmm. stunt or for best stunt coordination. And it doesn't make any sense. And part of making this film, part of what we are trying to appeal to people within the industry to do is to change that. You've got Oscars for best makeup and best hair and best sound editing and best song. And yet, you know, I would argue that stunts for a large part of cinema, especially Hollywood cinema, are the reason people go to the cinema. When they see those trailers, they're not looking at the haircuts. You know, they are looking at people really risking life and limb. And stunt work is so much more than just falling or jumping. You know, these guys have to plan these things. And also, they a lot of the time they shoot them. And that's kind of one of the industry secrets is that when you see the term kind of um, second unit director, mm -hmm. quite often that's a stunt per performer or a retired stunt performer right. who knows how to film those stunts best. True. So you don't want Hollywood directors knowing that the greatest shots in their films were directed by somebody else. It's, it's, like, it's like a choreographed ballet uh, that, that people, they, they practice and they rehearse and they choreograph something to look so, so real. I guess the one exception to maybe shining somewhat of a spotlight on these folks was Brad Pitt's character in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. That probably was maybe the closest thing that we've gotten to a, an actual film being a, put out there for people to kind of see <laughs> maybe at some point but you know that doesn't that that's very much the american side of the culture the british sure. stunt performers sure. they are a different breed and when you <laughs> see the film you fall in love with them they're unlike anyone you've ever met that's true. they're big rough teddy bears of guys they they deserve their own film like that you know well, it, it's a wonderful idea for a documentary and i know our audiences are just going to love watching this john i want to thank you so much for your time Thank you so much. Thank you. We're back after this.